Speaking coaches for millennia have argued whether content or delivery is more important. Okay, that's probably not true. But in my case anyways, I've always asked myself, if I had that extra time, and I should, for important presentations, should I be focusing more on the delivery side of my presentation or the content side? Which one is ultimately more beneficial for my audience? Which brings us back to you. What is more beneficial and what should you be focusing on the most? And that's exactly what I'll be debating and answering with myself on this week's episode of Master Talk. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic week. Brendan from Master Talk here, your go-to channel to mastering your talk. And today we're debating the content versus delivery argument to better understand what you should be focusing your time on to make sure that you have the maximum amount of impact in the presentations you'll give in your life. So let's get into it. The point I want to start this discussion is what is the goal of a presentation generally, right? And there's two different goals as I define it. The first one is getting our audience to take action on something, something along the lines of get, get better at communication, eat healthier, do something purpose driven with your life. Whatever that message may be from the speaker's perspective, that is the action the speaker wants their audience to take. So take an action. The second goal is making sure that our audience that we present to share our ideas with the world, whether it's the key message or whether it's other specific parts of the content that we want to present to them throughout the presentation. We want our audience to share our ideas and take action. Once again, we want our audience to share our ideas and take action. So in order to achieve these goals, what should we be focusing on more, content or delivery? And if there's anything that rings true, at least on my side, and for some of you who are watching this, who probably have listened to more TED Talks in their life, as many hours of these slept probably, like in my case, I've probably listened to hundreds of TED Talks and over thousands, literally, of interviews in general, the commonality between all of that content after four or five years of watching all of that is that I remember very little of everything I've watched. Generally speaking, even for the smartest people out there, when they watch something, they generally can only keep one or two key ideas from that presentation, whether it's the key action to take or whether it's something specific that they got out of their presentation, right? Something important that they want to keep in their back burner, in their, in their minds, right? But the vast majority of TED Talks, despite having amazing content, we forget which brings and drives my point. Delivery is always more important than the content in my opinion. Because if you're giving a presentation in the first place, the assumption I always make is that you're somewhat of an expert in that subject. You know something about the topic and something is better than nothing. So if you have that extra two, three hours left before your presentation or before the deadline that you have to give your speech, you are almost always better off focusing on the delivery. Because even if you know this much content, if you deliver it really well, they'll remember that content. But if you have this much content and your delivery is very poor, then you remember nothing. Think about the times where you've been presented really good content in your life. And I won't name names here, but you can give some ideas, whether it was in university, classes you've took in general, the content is generally really good, but sometimes the delivery isn't as great, so we don't remember a lot of the elements that we were taught, whether it was in high school, cooking classes we take externally, but we always remember the awesome classes we've taken, the amazing special moments, and those moments are usually defined by the personality of the person who's teaching you, or something special that happened during the learning experience, right? It's like public speaking. I could walk on this camera and just say, uh, well, I'm Brandon, I'm, I, I, well, I do communication. Or I could tell you stories, I can be super engaging, so that that way you'll be able to retain the information. And I hope that you like this approach better. All's to say is even if you perfect delivery, at the most, your audience will probably remember one or two key messages anyways. So the answer is simple here. Focus on your delivery first, 
so that you can make sure at the minimum that your key message is retained. As always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Master Talk or you just don't like it and want to debate me, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But regardless, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well to see more videos like this. And if there's anything I want to leave you off on, it's this. Too many speakers focus so much time on the content and don't spend a single second of their life thinking about their audience and how to deliver the content in a way that gets them excited to talk about your ideas. So focus on that so that you can make a bigger impact on the world and master your talk in the process. Take care, everyone. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time on Master Talk.